Hey guys, Cody with KAK Industry. I'm at the bench right now and I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> um, what we recommend doing upon receiving your 17556 converted brass. Uh, set the final shoulder dimension just to make sure that everything is going to be uh, as consistent as possible um, before you start dropping charges in this brass here. So I'm going to switch back and forth between cams here so I can give you guys a uh, good explanation and some good visuals of what I'm talking about here. So if you'll notice on the um, on the shoulder here, there's, you can see this little line. It's I can't I can't feel it or anything like that. It's uh, it's just a, a visual cosmetic blemish. Um, you're not going to see this on all of the casings that ship out from us. You'll see it here and there, and this is just an indicator that this shoulder is potentially not um, pushed back to its final dimensions that uh, that the, that the chamber's designed for. This will still chamber. Um, if this was like 17223 or something like that, that 100% would not chamber. Um, that's we'll cover that in in another video of you know why exactly we wanted to uh, or why why we made the changes that we did to this particular case. Um, so setting up this is the full length sizing die from Redding that'll come with um, our reloading die kit. And what I'm going to do here or See, you're getting a little ahead of myself. So you're going to raise your ram up all the way. You want the base of the die right here to come into contact with the top of the shell holder. You'll see here. So I'm hitting the top, or I'm coming into contact uh, with the top of the uh, shell holder right here and the base of the full length seat, uh, sizing die here. You can see the die wiggling around a little bit. Um, I'm going to give it just a little bit more of a turn, like not even, not even a tenth of a turn or anything. I just want to make sure it's tight in there. It's not going to move anywhere. And, um, so I'm using Imperial uh, Sizing Wax. That's what I use for everything. So I'm just going to run this piece of brass. That's all it takes, and I'll give you a uh, <clears throat> another visual here. So. As you can see, the the shoulder uh, along with the neck are um, very, very defined now. You'll also see that there's a bit of a sheen on the datum line here. Uh, that's just letting me know that I'm coming into contact with the sizing die and it's doing exactly what I, I want it to be doing. And you'll notice those little imperfections that were on the... Uh, the shoulder here are now gone. Those got smoothed out and uh, got rid of those when they were ran through the die here. So this is what we recommend doing um, after you receive your uh, 17556 converted brass. Um, all of the brass after it is converted is freshly annealed. Um, so it's nice and soft. You're not going to be fighting with it or anything like that. Um, Here's a, another example. You can see this line kind of up here where my uh, uh, thumb fingernail is pointing. Just going to run it through. And as you can see, we're looking we're looking real good. So again, same result, getting that uh, that sheen on the datum line, the very base of the shoulder here, and you can see that everything that I was pointing out previously is now nice and smoothed out, and uh, we're at the exact uh, case dimensions uh, that we want to be at with this shoulder um, for loading up rounds now.